I think, quite possibly, the word you're looking for right now is... Oops! Run! Guys, I mean us. Run! I'm glad we're on the same wavelength. Uh, see, great minds. Exactly so. I waited. <sighs> baby. Hello, Doctor. It's so very, very nice to meet you. President Nixon, who's calling? Is this you again? Mr. President? A child. This is the President, yes. I'm scared, Mr. President. I'm scared of the spaceman. A little girl. Boy, how can you be sure? What spaceman? Where are you phoning from? Where are you right now? Who are you? Jefferson Adams Hamilton. Jefferson. Listen to me. Surely this is something the Bureau could handle, sir. These calls happen wherever I am. How do I know the Bureau isn't involved? I can't trust anyone. Oh. Hello. Bad moment. Oh, look, this is the Oval Office. I was looking for the, uh, oblong room. I'll, 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 I'll just be off then, shall I? Every time. Don't worry. Of course does that when he's cloaked oh, no, 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 stop that. He said the scanner wouldn't work. I know. Bless. Oh, Ripper, have you got my scanner working yet? Oh, I hate him. No, you don't. Get the prisoner out of here. Sir, you have to go with him now. Ripper, make up blue again! What the hell is that? Mr. President? That child just told you everything you need to know, but you weren't listening. Never mind, though, because the answer's yes. I'll take the case. Fellas, the guns, really? I just walked into the highest security office in the United States, parked a big blue box on the rug. You think you can just shoot me? They're Americans! Don't shoot, definitely no shoot. Don't shoot us either. Very much not in need of getting shot. Look, look, we've got our hands up. Who the hell are you, sir? You need to stay back. But who, who are they? What is that box? It's a police box. Can't you read? I'm your new undercover agent on loan from Scotland Yard. Code name, The Doctor. These are my top operatives. The Legs, The Nose, and Mrs. Robinson. I hate you. No, you don't. Who are you? Now, nah, boring question. Who's phoning you? That's interesting, because Canton 3 is right. That was definitely a girl's voice, which means there's only one place in America she can be phoning from. Where? Did not engage with the intruder, Mr. Delaware. You heard everything I heard. It's simple enough. Give me five minutes, I'll explain. On the other hand, lay a finger on me or my friends, and you'll never, ever know. How'd you get it in here? I mean, you didn't carry it in. Clever, eh? Love it. Do not compliment the intruder. Five minutes. Five. Mr. President, that man is a clear and present danger Mr. To President, that man walked in here with a big blue box and three of his friends. And that's the man he walked past. One of them's worth listening to. I say we give him five minutes, see if he delivers. Thanks, Canton. If he doesn't, I'll shoot him myself. Not so thanks. Sir, I cannot Shut recommend... Up, Peterson. All right. Five minutes. I'm going to need a SWAT team ready to mobilize street level maps covering all of Florida, a pot of coffee, 12 jammy dodgers, and a fez. Get him his maps. Ooh, the silence. You guys take that seriously, don't you? Okay, you got me. I'm lying. I'm not really going to let you go that easily. Nice thought, but it's not Christmas. First, you tell me about the girl. Who is she? Why is she important? What's she for? Sorry, but you 
way out of time. Now, come on, a bit of history for you. Aren't you proud? Because you help. Now, do you know how many people are watching this live on the telly? Half a billion. And that's nothing, because the human race will spread out among the stars. You've just watched them fly a billion and billions of them for billions and billions of years. And every single one of them, at some point in their lives, will look back at this man taking that very first step, and they will never, ever forget it. OK, engine stop. NCA and a descent. Oh, but don't forget this bit. Ready? Ready. You've given the order for your own execution, and the whole planet just heard you. You should get us all. Fight! Martin, die on the for me. And one whacking great kick up the backside for the silence. You just raised an army against yourself. And now, for a thousand generations, you're going to be ordering them to destroy you every day. How fast can you run? Because today's the day the human race throw you off their planet. They won't even know they're doing it. I think, quite possibly, the word you're looking for right now is... Oops! Run! Guys, I mean us. Run! No, no, we are not leaving without you. Oh, just get your stupid face out of here! Fella didn't see that, did he? He gets ever so cross. So, what kind of doctor are you? Archaeology. Love a tomb. This is a big shit, big for five, yeah? I suppose the rest of them are hiding someplace and they're all gonna jump out and shout, Boo! Boo! <laughs> Throw the gun down. The rest of you, on your knees. Amy, what are you doing? You're saving your life. OK with that, are you? Put down the sword. A sword could kill us all, girl. Yeah, thanks. That's actually why I'm pointing it at you. One drop, that's all it takes. One drop of blood and she'll rise out of the ocean. Come on, I barely even scratched him. What are you all in such a huff about?
Uh, doctor, what's what's happening to me? She can smell the blood on your skin. She's marked you for death. She? A demon out there in the ocean. OK, groovy. So not just pirates today. We've managed to bag your shit where there's a demon popping in. <laughs> Very efficient. I mean, if something's going to kill you, it's nice that it drops you a note to remind you. Quickly, Leo, look out the sail. What? The creature. She charms all her victims with that song. Oh, great. So put my fingers in my ears. That's your plan. Doctor, come on, let's go. Let's get back to the, uh... Oh, back to the... Uh... <laughs> the music. <laughs> it's working on it, look. You are so beautiful. What? Oh, oh no, I love your get-up. Oh, that's great. You should dress as a pirate more often. Huh? <laughs> hey, hey. Cuddle me, shit, mate. Rory, stop! Everything is totally brilliant, isn't it? Huh? Look at these brilliant pirates. Look at their brilliant beards. I'd like a beard. Got a beard. You're not. <laughs> Music turns them into fools. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, but he is spoken for. Yes, I mean, you could do that, but it just won't work. Hardwired failsafe, living things from rooms that are deleted are automatically deposited in the main control room. But thanks for the lift. We are in your universe now, Doctor. Why should it matter to me in which room you die? I can kill you just as easily here as anywhere. Fear me. I've killed hundreds of Time Lords. Fear me. I've killed all of them. I don't understand. There isn't a forest in here. Yeah. You're right. You've completely won. Oh, you can kill us in oodles of really inventive ways. But before you do, killers allow me and my friends, Amy and Rory, to congratulate you on being an absolutely worthy opponent. Congratulations. Yep, you've defeated us, me and my lovely friends here. And last, but definitely not least, the TARDIS Matrix herself, a living consciousness, you ripped out of this very control room and locked up into a human body. And look at her. Doctor, she stopped breathing. Enough. That is enough. No, it's never enough. You forced the TARDIS into a body so she'd burn out safely a very long way away from this control room. Her flesh body can't hold the TARDIS Matrix and live. Look at her body house. And you think I should mourn her? No. I think you should be very, very careful about what you let back into this control room. You took her from her home, and now she's back in the box again. And she's free. No. Doctor, stop this. Oh. Stop this now. Look at my girl. Look at her go. They go on the inside. See how? That's your problem. Uh, size of a planet, but inside you are just so small. Make it stop. Finish him off, girl. Doctor, are you there? It's so very dark in here. I'm here. I've been looking for a word. A big, complicated word, but so sad. I found it now. 
What word? Alive. I'm alive. Alive isn't sad. It's sad when it's over. I'll always be here. But this is when we talked. And now even that has come to an end. There's something I didn't get to say to you. Goodbye. No. I just wanted to say. Hello. Hello, Doctor. It's so very, very nice to meet you. So now we mine the acid using these doppelgangers, or gangers. These bodies get burnt or fall in the acid. And who the hell cares? Right, Jen? With nerve endings automatically cut off, like airbags being discharged. So we wake up and get a new ganger. It's weird, but you get used to it. Jennifer, I want you in your ganger. Get back to the harness. Hang on. I'll see you up to. What are you up to, pal? Stop it. Strange. It was like, for a moment there, it was scanning me. Doctor. Get back, Doctor. Leave it alone. <laughs> Doctor, you all right? Incredible. You have no idea. No idea. I mean, I felt it in my mind. I reached out to it and it to me. Don't fiddle with the money, Doctor. How can you be so blinkered? It's alive, so alive. You're piling your lives, your personalities directly into it. Yes. It's the soap storm. First waves come in pairs. Pretty sure can full shock. It's close. Buzz, have we got anything from the mainland yet? No, the comms are still too jammed with radiation. OK, then we'll keep pumping acid until the mainland says stop. Now, why don't you stand back and let us impress you? ID confirmed. Jennifer Lucas. The meter is running. Cardio and spirit tree online. Motor functions online. Plumbing in. See why you keep here in church. Miracle of life. No need to get poncy. It's just gunge. Guys, we need to get to work. Okay, everybody. Let's crack on. Did I mention the solar storm? You need to get out of here. Well, where do you want us to go? <laughs> on a tiny island. Well, I can get you all off it. I think we're ridiculous. We've got a job to do. It's coming. That's the alarm. How'd you get power? The solar, and we use a solar router. The weather vane? Big problem. Boss, maybe if the storm's back, we should get underground. 
factory's seen better days. The acid pipes might not withstand another hit. We have 200 tons of acid to pump out. We fall behind, we stay another rotation. Anyone want that? Please. You are making a massive mistake here. You're right at the crossroads of it. Don't turn the wrong way. If you don't, if you don't prepare for this storm, you are all in terrible danger. Understand? My factory. My rules. Doctor! We need to get over here. Hello! Doctor! Cybermats. Do we have time for this? We make time. I'd like more proof that you're me. Cybermats. Created by the Cybermen. They are killed by feeding off brainwaves. Are you sure there aren't any weapons they could get to, like big guns with bits on them? Yeah, big guns would be good right now. Why would we have guns? We're a factory. We mine. Acid. Rory and Amy, they may not trust both of us. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Inevitably. <laughs> See, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength. Uh, See, great minds. Exactly. So, what's the plan? Well, save them all, humans and gangers. Tall order. Sounds wonderful. Is that what you were thinking? Yes, it's just so inspiring to hear me say it. <laughs> doctor, come on! So, what now, Doctor? Well, time to get cracking, Doctor. Mm. Hello! Sorry, but we had to establish a few ground rules, formulate a protocol. Protocol? Very posh. Well, a protocol between us, otherwise it gets horribly embarrassing, potentially confusing. OK, well, I'm glad you solved the problem of confusing. That sarcasm. She's very good at sarcasm. Breathe! What? We have to get you off the side. And the gangers, too. Sorry. Would you like a memo from the last meeting? They are trying to kill us! They're scared! Doctor, we're trapped in here. Right. See, I don't think so. The flesh body's fed by cabling from above. But where are the earthing conduits? Hmm? Well, this piping must go down into a tunnel or a shaft or something. Yes? With us? Yowza! An escapement. You know, I'm starting to get a sense of just how impressive it is to hang out with me. Do we tend to say yowza? That's enough. Let it go. OK. We're under stress. Army will send a recon team out. We need to find a way to contact the mainland. What about Rory and Jen? They are both out there. No, this place is a maze. Takes a long time to find someone in a maze. I bet you lot have got a computer map, haven't you? If we can get power running, we can scan for them. Be a lot quicker. <coughs> 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 Doctor, you said earlier <coughs> to breathe. Very important. <coughs> breathe. Well, yeah, well, I'm struggling to. <coughs> Acid interacting with the stone, creating an asphyxian miasma. <coughs> what? Choking gas. Extra heavy if we can get above it! <laughs> the evac tower! This way! <laughs> Doctor. The word for healer and wise man throughout the universe. We get that word from you, you know. But if you carry on the way you are, what might that word come to mean? To the people of the Gamma Forests, the word Doctor means Mighty warrior, how far you've come. And now they've taken a child, the child of your best friends, and they're going to turn her into a weapon just to bring you down. And all this, my love, in fear of you. Who are you? Oh, look, you're caught. Haven't seen that in a very long while. No, no you tell me. You tell me who you are. 
I am telling you. Can't you read? Hello. Hello. <laughs> But that means... I'm afraid it does. <laughs> Ooh. But you and I, we, 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 we are... Yes. <laughs> Ooh. How do I look? Amazing. I better be. Yes, you'd better be. <laughs> Fashion Jenny, till the next time. Rory and Amy, I know where to find your daughter, and on my life, she will be safe. River, get them all home. Doctor! No! Where are you going? No! <laughs> Where is he going? What did you tell him? Amy, you have to stay calm. Tell me what you told the doctor. Uh, no, stop it. It's OK, Rory. She's fine. She's good. It's the TARDIS translation matrix. It takes a while to kick in with a written word. You have to concentrate. No, I still can't read it. It's because it's Gallifreyan and doesn't translate. But this will. It's your daughter's name in the language of the forest. I know my daughter's name. Except they don't have a word for pond. It's the only water in the forest is the river. The doctor will find your daughter, and he will care for her whatever it takes. And I know that. It's me. I'm Melody. I'm your daughter. What do you want? Who let you in here? What's wrong with the shock absorbers? Problem in the knees. So we don't have to run. Do not call for help. This room has been sound screened. You have been found guilty. Justice mode activating. Ah, hang on. This is 1938. We're too early. We need to go later in his time stream. Something else. We've got incoming. On screen. What the hell is that? Oh. 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 Out, out, out! Everybody out! Don't be dismayed, don't get out! Where are we? A room! Oh, what room? I don't know what room. I've memorized every room in the universe yet. I had yesterday off. <coughs> Mills, don't go in there! Bad smoke, don't breathe for bad, bad smoke, bad, deadly smoke, because somebody shot my TARDIS! Doctor, th this guy, I think he's hurt. Transmit normal life signs. Artificial gravity holding, but we should get up right when we can. No, hang on. No, it's, it's fine. Oh, hello. Sorry, is this your office? Had a sort of collision with my vehicle. Faults on both sides, let's say no more about. It. What's that? No, it can't be, Doctor. Thank you, whoever you are. I think you have just saved my life. Believe me, it was an accident. 
What is this thing? What did you mean we just saved his life? We could not have just saved Hitler. You see? You see, time travel never goes to plan. But this box, what is it? It's a police telephone box from London, England. That's right, Adolf. The British are coming. No, stop him! Sit still. Shut up. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, 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 yes I'm, I'm fine. fine. I think he missed. He was going to kill me. Shut up, Hitler. Rory, take Hitler and put him in that cupboard over there. Now, do it. Right. Putting Hitler in the cupboard. Cupboard. Hitler. Hitler. Cupboard. Right. But I am the Fuhrer. Right. In you go. Who are you? Are you okay? Sir, what do we do now? Suggestion. We should go into surveillance mode. Agreed. Let's faint. Oh. I... I think he just fainted. Yes, that was a faint. How old is George, Alex? What? How old? Yes, how old is George? Well, I told you, just turned eight. So you remember when he was born, then? Of course. Of course you do. How could you not? You and Claire, Christmas Eve, 2002, right? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. A couple of weeks before George was born. Tell me about the day he arrived. Must have been wonderful. Well, it's the best day of my... Life. Sure. <laughs> yes. You don't sound sure. What are you trying to say? Look, I don't like this. I told you before. I, I, I want you to go. What's the matter, Alex? I can't... It... Oh, don't. Oh, this is scary. No, Alex, this is scary. Claire with baby George, newborn, yes? Yes. Less than a month after Christmas. So? So look, look, Claire's not pregnant. What? Not pregnant. Well, of course not. Claire can't have kids! Say that again. We tried everything. She was desperate, as much IVF as we could afford, but... Claire can't have kids. How? Oh. How can I have forgotten that? Who are you, George? It's not possible. This isn't... George. Why aren't there any lights? I miss lights. You don't really miss things till they're gone, do you? It's like what my nan used to say, you'll never miss the water till the well runs dry. Rory. Except light. I mean, not, not water. Lights are great, aren't they? I mean, if this place is all lit up, we wouldn't even be worried at all. Rory, hmm? panicking. A bit. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Please, keep them away from us. Keep them away. <laughs> <laughs> I take it all back. Panic now. <laughs> Don't run away. We don't play. <laughs> right, Rory.
Sorry, switch the time glass on and sonic it. I'm sending a command signal to the screwdriver. Amy's here somewhere. If I can just get a lock on her. I wonder what happens if we mix the filters. And there they are. 40,000 time streams overlapping. Red Wolf isn't one time stream. It's thousands. Are they happy? Oh, Rory, trust you to think of that. I think they're happy to be alive. Better than the alternative. I'm coming, peace! Peace, 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 peace! I waited. S sorry, what? I waited for you. I waited. Baby. Doctor, what's going on? carry a black box in case they go offline. I've changed the cause of termination from hostile to accidental. Easy to reprogram. Use my sonic probe. Amy. Rory. Why? Because the only way I've survived this long is by making the handbots think I don't exist. Don't touch the hands. There's anesthetic transfer in the skin. If they touch you, you go to sleep. But you're still here. You didn't save me. This is the saving! This is the us saving you! The doctor just got the timing a bit out! I've been on my own here a long, long time. I've had decades to think nice thoughts about him, got a bit harder to stay charitable once I entered decade four. Forty years? Alone? Thirty-six years. Thanks. No, right. No. I mean, you look great. Really. Really. Eyes front, soldier. Still can't win, then? <laughs> In fact, I think I can now definitely say I hate him. I hate the doctor. I hate him more than I've ever hated anyone in my life. And you can hear every word of this through those ridiculous glasses, can't you, raggedy man? Uh, yes. Putting the speakerphone on. You told me to wait, and I did. A lifetime. Amy! You've got nothing to say Amy, to me. Amy, behind you! <laughs> Feedback knocks them out. Learned that trick on my first day. OK, so we just take the TARDIS back to the right time stream. Yeah? We can stop any of this happening. We locked onto a time stream, Rory. This is it. This is so wrong. I got old, Rory. What did you think was going to happen? Hey, I don't care that you got old. I care that we didn't grow old together. Amy, come on, please. Don't touch me. Don't do that. It's like you're not even her. 36 years, three months, four days of solitary confinement. This facility was built to give people the chance to live. I walked in here and I died. Do you have anything to say? Anything, doctor? Where did you get a sonic screwdriver? I made it. And it's a sonic probe. You made a sonic screwdriver? Probe. <laughs> I'm the doctor. We're going to die here. Well, they certainly didn't mention that in the brochure. Is Joe there? Can I have a quick word? Oh, it's still me, doctor, but I've seen the light. I lived a blasphemous life, but he has forgiven my inconstancy, and soon he shall feast. Well, you've been here for two days. What's he waiting for? We weren't ready. We were still raw. But now you're what? Cooked, if you like. Soon you will be, too. Be patient. First, find your room. Mm. 
my room. There's a room here for everyone, Doctor. Even you. You said you'd seen the light now. Nothing else matters anymore. Only him. It's like these things. I used to hate them. They make me laugh now. <laughs> got a gear, got a gear. <laughs> You should go. He'll be here soon. I think you should come with me. Why are you for? I don't understand. Aside from all the other things I don't understand. What does it matter? Sooner or later, someone will come along and rescue us. Or enslave us. First, we find the TARDIS. Quick thing before we go. If you feel drawn to a particular room, do not go in and make sure someone else can see you at all times. Joe said he will feast. Is there something here with us? <laughs> something to add, Joe. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Chop, 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 chop. Can we do something about him? <laughs> Personally, I think you've got the right idea. In times like this, I think of my old school motto. Resistance is exhausting. <laughs> I've worked out where we are. Hmm? Norway. Norway? See, the US government has entire cities hidden in the Norwegian mountains. See, Earth is on a collision course with this other planet. And this is where they're going to send all the rich people when it kicks off. Amazing. It's all there on the internet. No, it's amazing you've come up with a theory even more insane than what's actually happening. Hello? Have you forgotten your pee, kids, again? Right, that's it. You're doing it in your pants. Klingon. <laughs> Praise him. Shut the, 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 the door. Doctor! Doctor! Oh. <sighs> ah! He must be the new leader now. He is not like us, brain and binary vascular system incompatible. They will be discarded. Other body parts may be of use. Oi! Cybermen! You get off my planet, all right? Activate this! Freak! Stop this! Get out! That's what you said, Doctor. You've got to believe you can do it. You located us. Yeah, the teleport in the lift. Bit rubbish. And that little Cybermat never stood a chance. You see what you're dealing with? You are compatible. You are intelligent. <laughs> Do not fear, we will take your fear from you. You will be like us, you will be more than us. No, no, no! Your designation is Cyber Controller. You no. will lead us, we will conquer this world. Doctor! Hey! Do something, please! Uh. Doctor! Craig, don't worry, I've reprogrammed their Cyber Mask. It'll drain their power. <laughs> You have failed, Doctor. Begin conversion phase one. Cleanse the brain of emotions. Craig, fight it. They can't convert you if you fight back. You're strong. Don't give in to it. You help me! Think of something. Think of Alfie. Craig, don't let them take it all away. Make it stop, please! Make it stop! Please, listen to me. I believe in you. I believe you can do this. I've always believed oh. in all of you, all my life. <laughs> I'm going to die, Craig. Tomorrow I'm going to die, but I don't mind if you just prove me right. Craig! Begin full conversion. Don't 
worry. It's just a little light going out. Unknown sound wave detected. It is the sound of fear. It is irrelevant. We will remove all fear. Alfie, I'm so sorry. Alfie, please stop. I, I can't help it. Emotions eradicated. Conversion complete. Alert! Emotional subsystems rebooting. This is impossible. He can hear him. He can hear Alfie. Oh, please, just give me this. Craig, you wanted a chance to prove you're a dad. You are never going to get a better one than this. What is happening? What's happening, you metal moron? A baby is crying. And you better watch out, because guess what? Ha-ha! <laughs> Daddy's coming home! Alfie! <laughs> Alfie, I'm here! Yeah, I'm coming for you! Yes, Craig! Alfie! Alfie needs you! Emergency! Emotional influx! You've triggered a feedback loop into their emotional inhibitors! <laughs> All that stuff they cut out of themselves, now they're feeling it! <laughs> Which means a very big explosion. Overload, overload, overload. Get out, but we need to get you out of here. That's super shit. We've got to get out of here. Say no. The teleport. <laughs> you all need to stay back. Whatever happens now, you do not interfere. That's an astronaut. That's an Apollo astronaut in a lake. Yeah. Well then, here we are at last. I can't stop it. The suit's in control. You're not supposed to. This has to happen. Run. I did run. Running brought me here. I tried to but I can't. It's too strong. I know. It's okay. This is where I die. This is a fixed point. This must happen. This always happens. Don't worry. You won't even remember this. Look over there. It's me. How can I be there? That's you from the future. Serving time for a murder you probably can't remember. My murder. Why would you do that? Make me what? So that you know this is inevitable. And you are forgiven. Always and completely forgiven. Please, my love, please, please, just run. Can't? Time can be rewritten. Don't you dare. Goodbye, River. Hello, sweetie. What have you done? Well, I think I just drained my weapon systems. But this is fixed. This is a fixed point in time. Fixed points can be rewritten. No, they can't. Of course they can't. Who told you that? Well, what happened? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing happened, and then it kept happening. Or, if you'd prefer, everything happened at once, and it won't ever stop. Time is dying. It's going to be 5.02 in the afternoon for all eternity. A needle stuck on a record. A record? Good Lord, man, have you never heard of downloads? Said Winston Churchill. <laughs> can't smoke. That's can't smoke. Oh. I appear to have fired this. We seem to be defending ourselves. I don't understand. The creatures that lead the silence, remarkable beings, they're memory proof. But what does that mean? Well, you can't remember them. The moment you look away, you forget they were ever there. Don't panic. In small numbers, they're not too difficult.
alert at all times and keep your eye drives active. Who the devil are you? Identify yourselves. Pond. Amelia Pond. <laughs> no, no, she's on our side. It's okay, Mr. No. No, Amy. Amy. Why are you wearing that? Just tell him, River. Those reports of the sunspots and the solar flares, they're wrong. There aren't any. It's not the sun. It's you. The sky's full of a million, million voices saying, yes, of course, we'll help. You've touched so many lives, saved so many people. Did you think when your time came, you'd really have to do more than just ask? You've decided that the universe is better off without you. But the universe doesn't agree. River, no one can help me. A fixed point has been altered. Time is disintegrating. I can't let you die. Oh, I have to die. Shut up! I can't let you die without knowing you are loved by so many and so much and by no one more than me. River, you and I, we know what this means. You know, we are ground zero of an explosion that will engulf all reality. Billions on billions will suffer and die. I'll suffer if I have to kill you. More than every living thing in the universe. Yes. River, River. You know, why do you have to be this? Melody Pond. Your daughter. I hope you're both proud. I'm not sure I completely understand. Um, we got married and had a kid and that's her. Okay. Amy, uncuff me now. Okay, I need a strip of cloth about a foot long. Anything will do. Never mind. River, take one end of this. Wrap it around your hand and hold it out to me. What am I doing? As you're told. Now, we're in the middle of a combat zone, so we'll have to do the quick version. Captain Williams, say, I consent and gladly give. To what? Just say it. Please. I consent and gladly give. Need you to say it too. Mother of the bride. I consent and gladly give. Now, River, I'm about to whisper something in your ear and you have to remember it very, very carefully and tell no one what I said. I just told you my name. Now, there you go, River Song. Melody Pond. You're the woman who married me. And wife, I have a request. This world is dying and it's my fault. And I can't bear it another day. Please, help me. There isn't another way. Then you may kiss the bride. I'll make it a good one. You better. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.